Kyle Bradshaw from Cruiser Customizing, and today we're going to talk about the top five things to think about when choosing the perfect motorcycle windshield for your application. Now let's face it, a motorcycle windshield isn't the sexiest accessory you're going to put on your motorcycle. But when taking a long ride, or even a short one in bug-filled country, the proper windshield for your application can be a huge benefit. Bugs, rain, windburn, fatigue, these are all common ailments that motorcyclists face when they get out there on the open road. Today we're going to walk you through several of the key elements to learn about windshields before making the perfect purchase for your ride. Adding a windshield or at least a deflector to your motorcycle can be a key asset in eliminating all of the nuisances that we just mentioned. Now there are really five key things to think about. These five key things are windshield material, mounting, style, fitment, and accessories. When it comes to the common materials that are used to make motorcycle windshields today, you've really got three different varieties. The most common is acrylic. acrylic. Most of the windshields out there on the market are made of acrylic. Why? It's a very cost-effective, easy-to-use material that will block the wind and bugs from hitting your body. Now there are a couple downsides to acrylic in the fact that it can over time fade, over time scratches can get put inside the shield, and it's not quite as strong as some of the others on the market. The strongest windshield material currently on the market is polycarbonate. Two of the largest manufacturers using polycarbonate are Curryocket and National Cycle. Now National Cycle will take it a step farther by using what they call quantum hard coating on the outside of their windshield. The polycarbonate with quantum hard coating is so strong you can beat it with a baseball bat. Take a look at the National Cycle video where they shoot it with a slingshot, shoot it with a shotgun, hammer it with a baseball bat, and even throw a brick at it, and it does not break the windshield. Absolutely phenomenal. Now the quantum hard coating that they put on the outside of the windshield is simply that. It's a coating that resists scratching. Effectively, you can take a piece of steel wool and instead of scratching the windshield, it actually cleans it. Take a look at some of the videos that we've done in the past showing you just how superior the National Cycle Quantum Coating is compared to other coatings out there on the market. Once you figure out what material you're going to want to go with, take a look at the mounting options. Do you want it to be affixed to your motorcycle as a permanent fixture, or do you want it to be quick release? If you're going with the fixed approach, there are two main options, either fork mounted or handlebar mounted. And there are lots and lots of choices to choose from. National Cycle, Memphis Shades are two of the biggest. Windvest and Slipstream are also offer some great, great options. If you ride a cruiser, there's really three main options for quick release. You've got Memphis Shades, National Cycle, and Curryocken. Now how do these differ? When it comes to quick release windshields, National Cycle really led the way in innovation for the Metro Cruiser and his transfer that knowledge down to the Harley Davidson. The National Cycle Kit uses polished stainless steel spools which attach to your forks. You can then swap a variety of windshields on and off of the motorcycle in legitimately seconds. These windshields include the National Cycle 2-Up windshield, chopped, shorty, or deflector. Next up, Memphis Shades. Memphis Shades quick release option is called the Trigger Lock. It's made out of a polished aluminum and has lots and lots of features. One of the main features is the fact that you can purchase additional side plates in either black or polished aluminum, which then you can attach to a Memphis Shades Fats, Slims, Bullet, Batwing, or Gauntlet fairings. The Curryocken setup has really taken some of the key features of Memphis Shades and National Cycle, kind of combine them all together, and it's the only one that offers a chrome finish. If you're looking for a chrome finish, quick release option, the Airmaster setup from Curryocken is something you should definitely take a look at. Now that we've talked about the nuts and bolts, let's get to the meat. Windshield size. How do you choose the perfect size windshield? Not only are you going to have to look at the overall height of the windshield, take a look at the width. If you're riding a narrow bike such as a Sportster or a V-Star 650, you may not need that huge wide Memphis Fats or National Cycle 2 up windshield. You might be able to go with something slimmer, such as say a Slims from Memphis Shades. The Slims windshield mounts to the same trigger lock mounting system as we talked about earlier, but it offers it in a narrower package. For the thin bikes, this is a really, really slick option. 
Another thing to take a look at when choosing a windshield or measuring for a windshield is your headlight size. Does the windshield have enough of a cutout in order to clear your headlight? In order to measure your headlights width, take a, take a tape and measure directly across your headlight. If it's 7 inches or smaller, you can go ahead and do the 7 inch cutout from Memphis Shades. If it's larger than 7 inches, you're going to have to go with the 9 inch cutout. Or if your headlight's much larger than 9 inches, they've usually got a model specific application for your ride. Now at home in your own garage, you can figure out the perfect height of windshield you're going to need just by sitting on your motorcycle in a normal riding position. This is best done by soliciting the help of a friend who's going to hold a tape measure about an inch off your headlight. The easiest way to measure for the proper height windshield is to take a finger between your nose and upper lip and just go straight out. While performing this measurement, you want to make sure that the tape measure is at roughly the angle the windshield is going to be at. If you go straight up and down, you're going to get a false reading. Two of the main problems with having a windshield you have to look through is fog for number one. Those little droplets of water collect on the windshield and they don't disperse off. They stick on there like Velcro. And then what happens is you end up looking through or having to look through and up and over an opaque shield, pulling yourself up on the bars and it becomes an extremely uncomfortable event. The other main reason not to have a windshield that you have to look through is when the windshield gets old. If you have an acrylic windshield or something with lots of scratches, what's going to happen is the sun, when it starts to go down or rising in the morning, will hit this windshield and each of those little scratches will actually reflect light and it's extremely difficult to see through the shield. So in both of those situations, you're now pulling yourself up and trying to look over a shield because you cannot see effectively through it. Once you figure out your proper windshield height, there's lots and lots of style options. You can go with a full two-up style windshield, such as this one here. Memphis Shades National Cycle Slipstreamer. Everyone's got a full-size windshield that you can put on your motorcycle. Now, do you need a full-size windshield? No, not really. You can go with a Slims, a Shorty, a Deflector. There's lots and lots of different options. If you go with a handlebar mounted windshield or a deflector that mounts to the front forks, that's really going to cover just this area in front of you. But the deflection or the amount of wind that that pushes out and around is still quite significant. Now one thing to think about, if you're riding two up, you might want to get a windshield that's adjustable. That way when you're riding solo, you're not looking through the shield. Or if there's bad weather, you can lower it down to that height. But when you're riding two up, you really need that windshield to be just a little bit higher so that clean air goes up and over the passenger. Now you've almost got all of the information you need to go make that purchase, but wait just a second. Take a look at your current motorcycle and how it's set up. Have you got an aftermarket light bar, an aftermarket headlight, a driving light bar? Maybe you've chromed out the front forks or put fork sleeves on them to make them larger. These are all situations that will make the fitment of the windshield different than stock. So if you've made any of these modifications, give our customer care team a call at 1-888-857-5417 and they can walk you through the windshield. It's going to be the perfect fit for your motorcycle. Once you've made that purchase, you might find you have a little bit of head buffeting inside the cockpit of your motorcycle. If that does happen, fork lowers or windshield lowers are a key accessory that you can put on your motorcycle that will deflect that wind out and around so it doesn't come up underneath the windshield and buffet your head. If you're looking to have the clearest visibility through your windshield possible, Rain Zip is an accessory I'd also recommend. This is simply a coating that you put on the outside of your windshield that repels water. Absolutely incredible. It's also fog resistant, so it keeps your windshield from fogging and keeps water from sticking to it. Well, that's about all we have time for today. If you have extra questions, please give our customer care team a call. Leave a comment here on this video and we'll make sure we answer them. Please like and subscribe this video if you found this information helpful. Thanks again for watching this windshield buying guide tip of the week. Until next week, take care and ride safe.